Hi everyone, I'm Juan Carlos, I'm from Costa Rica. Well, what happened to me? I had a, an airplane accident three years ago. I'm a commercial pilot. And result of that accident, I fractured my T12, T, T11, T12, L1, and L2. My, well, the doctors told me that I had a complete injury in my spine and that I wasn't going to walk again. And the plane, just maybe in the, in the television. Well, I was uh, like two months in, uh, in the hospital recovering from two surgeries in Costa Rica. After that, I had a third surgery in Chile for um, total reconstruction of my spine. And in that time, I was uh, talking with uh, my physiotherapist there in Costa Rica, and she told me about the stem cell treatment. Um, well, I decided to, to do it after my surgery in, in Chile. Uh, my first treatment was in uh, November 2008. I received uh, five injections, intrathecal, umbilical cord. Well, Carlos, can you just tell them what, what kind of condition you're in before you start getting okay. treatment? From my waist down, I had nothing, no, no sensibility, no movement, no control of nothing. And, well, I was... Uh, an Asia A, I think, that is a complete paraplegic person. And after my first treatment in November 2008, I had like, well, I, suffer, I was suffering a lot of neuro, neuropathic pains. And they, in the scale, they put it like 10, 10 from 10, 10, 10. And after my first treatment, I had no no changes in my movements or, or, or the sensitivity, but the change that I had was in my neuropathic pains, that it passed from 10 to 3, like in uh, maybe in two weeks. I had my second treatment in February 2009, uh, in umbilical cord stem cells too. After that treatment, I, saw that I, I started to, to see the, all the changes. I started to make some movements in my left leg, uh, some feelings like in, like in some spot in my leg. And like the, I started to gain muscle mass. And for the third treatment that was in June that, that, uh, that year, I was driving an automatic car with my left leg. I was making my first steps and with, the, with the walker and with the crutches. And uh, I had like an 80% sensitivity in my left leg. For the, um, well, in that uh, the time, I had my fourth treatment in November last year. And in that time, in one year, I recovered my right leg. Um, stopped using uh, my crutches, and I was using a cane. Um, I'm driving a manual transmission car. I compete in four by four races. <laughs> I just passed last year my physical, and the pilot, the commercial pilot physical, and I started to fly again. Uh, right now, I'm just waiting for a call and for a um, uh, commercial airline. Maybe I'm gonna work in one, one to two months again. <laughs> well, what I can do, I, I saw in the Dr. Paz presentation that this is not uh, like a miracle cure, but I think for us, the, the patients and the, our parents and all the relatives. It is a, cure, a miracle cure. And I want to thank you, Dr. Neil Riordan and all the staff of the Panama, because I had a great time, too, there in Panama. <laughs> I was uh, there for uh, 17 days. 
Well, the treatment was uh, like being in a normal hospital. <laughs> and I had a great time with all doctors. Mm -hmm. And well, what I can say, I had my life again. And there in the hospital, I had uh, like three or four doctors. And they told me, you have to create in your mind that, you know, that you're not going to walk again and you have to get used to the wheelchair. And I said, no. And I had a lot of fights with the doctor there. <laughs> <laughs> and right now, you know, uh, last year I visited some doctors that they told me that and they were like, Oh, I think we did a good job with you. It's okay, yeah? <laughs> okay. So, well, that's my story.